Welcome to the Bolarama in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, where we are in the Pro Series Doubles Knockout Tournament. It's the second tournament of the season on the Pro Series, and this is the final match, and we're halfway through. We've got Dave Richards and Peter Flynn bowling against Bob Whitcomb and Craig Holbrook. Right now, Dave Richards and Bob Whitcomb are coming up for their second half of the, the uh, match with Whitcomb and Holbrook leading by 14. And Bob Whitcomb filling a spare with 7. He's got 72 through 5. And there is a great shot for a spare by Bob Whitcomb. Let's have a look at this one on replay. It's the 1, 9, 10 and the he hits the head pin pretty solid, and that goes through and takes out the 9, and I think the ball went over and took out the 10. Meanwhile, Dave Richards with 45 after 5, having uh, uh, put a 3 on the spare. In this final match, you've got four guys that really are probably four of the best anchor bowlers in can open bowling. There's uh, an, being an anchor bowler is sort of a an intangible that that uh, some bowlers have and some don't. Just having the ability to put a couple of marks on the board at the end of a, a match when they really need it. And all four of these guys are just outstanding in that area. Bob Whitcomb with seven on the spare and Dave Richards with also with a seven drop. But they both got pretty tough splits here. Bob is looking at 5, 9, 10 with no wood. And he just takes out the 5, 9. Dave Richards has got the 4, 7, 10. Oh, and he uses that wood to try and go over and get the 10 pin, but just went right in front of the 10. Dave Richards is probably best known as the uh, the champion on the Channel 5 Can Open Bowling Show when it uh, uh, was canceled off the air in 1996. So Dave still holds that title. And Bob Whitcomb is well known as a member of the Maria's Subs team in the uh, World Invitational Team Tournament. And he also bowls in the Friday Night Traveling Pro League. And Bob is also a regular on the tournament circuit and has many, many TV appearances as well. And Bob almost converts that half Worcester spare. And meanwhile, Dave Richards missed the 10 pin. That ball went in the gutter. So it'll be a, uh, a 9 for Dave Richards and a 9 also for Bob Whitcomb in the 8th. Uh, Whitcomb drops five, leaving the notorious Kaliri, the one, three, six, eight, ten. Dave Richards with a one, three pocket hit, leaving the two, four, five triangle. And Bob goes by the head pin and takes out the three, six, ten. And Dave, obviously a little disgusted with that shot, he went by the uh, two pin, just took out the four. Good opportunity for a mark there, but uh, wasn't able to convert. So it'll be a 9 for Bob Whitcomb and an 8 box for Dave Richards. Bob has 116 through 9, and Dave Richards was 78 through 9. So the 10th frame, Dave Richards needs to try and uh, see if he can throw a mark here and pick up some ground. Bob Whitcomb with a 7 drop. And there is a strike by Dave Richards. Let's take another look at this strike on replay. This ball is just high flush in the 1-2 pocket and really goes down in a hurry. And that's a timely strike for Dave Richards. It will allow him to, uh, to cut into the lead held by Bob Whitcomb and Craig Holbrook. But let's see if Bob can make this spare. He's got the six, eight, ten, couple of pieces of wood that might work for him, and they almost do. But that that uh, piece of wood 
just went behind the 8-pin instead of taking it out. So it'll be an open box for Bob in the 10th, and he'll make it a 10. So he's got a 126 game. Meanwhile, Dave Richards, known as Cookie on the tournament circuit, he will uh, fill in this strike and have a chance to, to cut into the lead. And he drops eight with his first ball. He'll have one more ball. And that's gonna be a nine fill. So that gives him a 97 game. That means that right now, as Craig Holbrook and Peter Flynn come up, the team of Whitcomb and Holbrook are leading by 20, plus Craig's fill ball here. He had a spare in the fifth. So it's 20 plus whatever he gets on this ball right here. And Craig drops five. Peter Flynn also with a five drop. And nice bid by Peter Flynn after uh, Craig Holbert went by the head pin. Craig will take a 10 box and Peter will be looking to uh, also record a 10. And he doesn't. That wood was a roadblock. Craig Holbrook with a nine drop, leaving a six pin in the seventh frame. And Peter Flynn with a, a nice ball, but he left a four, six, seven split. And a piece of wood in front of the six pin that he might try and use, but it's, uh, it's kind of a long shot. He'll probably try and hit that wood and see if he might be able to get the ball to come back. And didn't do it. He just got the six. Craig Holbrook, meanwhile, missed the six pin. And he missed it again, so it'll be a nine box for Craig. And it'll also be a nine for Peter. And the eighth. Ooh, that's a nice break for Craig Holbrook. It looked like a big five lead, but he was able to break down the 3-6-10. And there's a strike by Peter Flynn. You can see it on replay. Kind of a mixer, and really does not take long for those 10 pins to hit the deck. A couple of tricky pieces of wood in front of this 4-7 for Craig Holbrook. And he goes right by them. He doesn't even touch the wood at all. Let's take a look at this on replay. You can see that Craig avoids the wood. I'm not sure if he was really playing it that fine or if he was just trying to maybe go way down low on the wood. But in any case, he, he goes right by the wood and uh, avoids it entirely and makes this fair. Really nice shot. Just a four fill. That gives Craig 93 through eight. And Peter Flynn with a seven drop in the ninth frame. He still has another fill ball to go on that striker. That's really gonna tighten up the match, especially if he can do something with this two, four, 10 spare. Some wood that is behind the, the uh, two pin and that might help him see what he can do with this split. Taking some time to look it over. And he's got it. That's a great shot by Peter Flynn for the spare. You can see what he did with it. He just hit pretty solid on the two pin and that would snap right over into the 10 pin. So that's a spare, a very, very big spare. And an eight box by Craig Holbrook in the ninth, giving him 101. So through nine, it is an 18 pin lead for Whitcomb and Holbrook, but that's minus the uh, 18 minus the fill for uh, Peter Flynn, so it's it's uh, still anybody's game. Wow, and there is a strike by Craig Holbrook. That's what I'm talking about with uh, these guys being great anchor bowlers. And Peter Flynn drops a strike right on top of him. 
So that cuts the lead to eight pins going into, uh, well, with just two balls to go. And it looks, let's look at these, both of these strikes. Really, really solid shot by Craig Holbrook there. Just high flush, one, two pocket. And this strike by Peter Flynn, almost identical to the one that he had in the eighth. Kind of a, a mixer and, and very, very similar. So what that means is that uh, because it's an eight pin lead, Peter Flynn is almost certainly going to need to throw a double strike because Craig Holbrook is not likely to get less than two. Yeah, Craig has seven with that that ball, which means that Peter Flynn is going to have to throw another strike right now. Good ball. Look at that three pin wiggle. Is it going to go? No, it does not go. Wow. So that's going to be the difference. Bob Whitcomb and Craig Holbrook are going to going to be the winners in this in this uh, Pro Series doubles knockout. What a great close finish! It's the final score is 245 to 239. And look at this last shot by Peter Flynn. The three pin looks like the six is almost going to take it and the two pieces of wood roll around and look how close that three pin comes to going down it wiggles every which way and it just looks like it's gonna go but it does not go down and that's the difference that gives the uh, the win to Bob Whitcomb and Craig Holbrook and you'll see the the scores here Bob Whitcomb with 126 and Craig Holbrook 119 giving them 245 and you can see Dave Richards 97 game and Peter Flynn 142 for 239 so it's a six pin margin for Bob Whitcomb and Craig Holbrook they are the winners of this Pro Series doubles knockout tournament at the Bolarama in Portsmouth we will see you next month at Vacation Land in Maine